Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the forexpsami.com forums weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stay on top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit forexpsami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, let's take a look again on your currency. So in general, yesterday on the hourly chart we've cut the performance according to the trading plan that we discussed. Uh, on the daily chart we do not see big shifts, so actually market has formed some kind of the indecision session, high wave doji here, some, well, sign of the market is waiting something. Probably this is the pearls report, so I suppose that until the report today and tomorrow it will be, should be relatively quiet sessions if nothing surprising will happen in the geopolitical arena anyway um, actually this in the short term this candle might be very useful to us it's because it could point in the direction so you know the breakout of the high waves usually uh, shows the direction the market intends to follow at least in the short term so if market will move higher today for example taking out of this top it means that well intends to go higher and who knows maybe it will erase the reversal bar as well downside breakout means the same but in the opposite direction at, the, at this moment well mar market currently is calling inside the range of the uh, high wave for me it is a bit not sufficient bullish context and uh, if you're in and this reversal bar on the daily chart means for me more than some maybe bullish signs that we have on lower time frames so uh, that's why currently until we get some clear bullish patterns on the hourly chart i do not want to consider taking the long position so uh, for instance if we would get here the grubber on the daily chart at some support here that might be a different story so we could consider because it provides small risk it provides clear pattern and at least this is something that we could try and to use but currently we have big sell off of the reversal bar and just high wave it's not sufficient so on the follow time frame chart, uh, mostly this picture stands the same. Here are the two not good moments for a bull. First moment we already have uh, mentioned recently, this is a divergence. And it suggests that market should take it out of the C point. If this will happen, that might be a really vital moment, suggesting that market just could keep on going lower. Second not good moment is that take a look at um, how fast market is moving down out of the COP. Maybe by the depth of the drop it's not yet something uh, big so it's approximately around 30 percent support but uh, with this some acceleration down this is also not a good sign so this is some signs of weakness exist on the overcurrents it means that on hourly chart personally um, i would prefer to wait for the patients for instance on hourly chart what we have this actually you could see performance the yesterday session indeed market has completed a b c d right to the confluence where we said 102 area and then collapse to the xop with next target 108 18. so drop here was relatively fast and as i explained here um i don't want to take long position without the passion because in general the speed of the downward action here is actually you can see some minor gap even exists to the downside tells that the bears well are powerful enough so and uh, to bring the context for a possible trading here on the long side we need to see clearer signs of the reversal of the market indeed turning up again and uh, here a few patterns might be formed for example if market will form a kind of the head and shoulders so it might be left shoulder head market will return it back up start forming right arm here well at least you could use it because your stop will be very tight right there or even below the right arm and uh, this is well at least more or less acceptable way to consider for taking a long position alternatively that might be three drive buy for example stick with this is first drive second stance 127 third will be slightly below the xop xop by the way has not been hit for a few pips as you can see so here's market could complete the free drive and you also could try to use it for position taking if we will not have something of this kind of this drop on the third drive we need gradual retracement gradual downward action so um in this case you could use the free drive for the placing stop either below the major 618 or just below the third drive 
especially if you control the reversal with the five minute time frame pattern for instance if market could form here a minor butterfly or some other minor reversal pattern that's great <clears throat> at least at, uh, until we will get it um, it's not sufficient background for it, considering taking the long position that's just my view if you have taken the short position here and you still keep it, well just move stops to the break in and see what will happen because uh, mo major action might happen tomorrow on uh, non-farm pearls and probably investors right now will be watching and just uh, sit on their hands hardly they will do something before it that's approximately what we have in euro currency and so uh, let's keep watching what will happen and uh, bears if you have the uh, based on the reversal bar or based on yesterday not least equal to positions you could hold them small stops of the break even um, if you would like others who would like to take the long position i suggest that it would be better to wait for a clear patience